Lori Blauer from San Diego Pet Food Delivery and IB Pet. And today I'm going to show you how to prepare raw uh, dog food, cat food meals for pet. Um, we're going to start out with using a primal chicken grind, which is just uh, chicken necks, frames, heart, and liver. So just um, organ meat. Um, we're also going to use some ground salmon and then these fruits and vegetables that you see here. Um, we're also going to use some eggs. I have blueberries here and I've already chopped them up. I have um, broccoli, carrots, apples, sweet potato. You can also get sweet potato in a can. Um, your local pet store should carry it or your grocery store. Pumpkin, we also have a pumpkin and apple, um, kind of like a, I think it's dehydrated or um, that you can add to it instead of using the, this pumpkin. And then fish oil. So I got most of the stuff already prepared, but I'm going to just show you quickly how I did, how I got the, the broccoli that consistency. I used this little chopper, as you can see here. Um, you can use like the, uh, I think it's called the magic bullet or anything, also chop it up, or your food processor. Um, what I did for the carrots is I grated them first, right here, and then I'm also, then I'm going to put them in here. Because I don't like, I mean, you can put this right into the raw, but I like it finer. So it's really easy to do this. what it looks like. With my dogs I don't put a whole lot of produce in with their raw. Everybody kind of has their own way of doing it. Some people think dogs need a lot of produce. I am a believer of they don't need a whole lot of fruits and veggies. They need more meat in their diet and organ meat. But they do get some vitamins and nutrients from it so it still is important to have it. Um, now the apples. You can do the same. You don't have to grade them, obviously. You can just throw them in like this. What's nice about making food like this is you can pick which ingredients you want. So if like, your dog's allergic to, say, carrots, you can use butternut squash or more sweet potato, less sweet potato. You can, you know, you can do whatever you want. start putting all the meat together. You want to want some big bowls. I've already thawed this. I bought it, uh, actually took it out of the freezer um, about what, two hours ago? Two hours ago? Maybe a little maybe a little longer than that. And I just put it in water in my sink and it's pretty smushy so it's ready to go. Same with this. I'm not going to use this whole thing because I'm not making that much right now. I'm going to use the other half of this for something else. And I want two pounds of it, so I'm just going to kind of guesstimate. You don't have to have it this thawed. It's still actually kind of frozen in the center. I'm going to say that's about two pounds. So I'm going to go throw this over here. Now you can do this with like hamburger meat that you get from like Whole Foods or Costco or wherever you shop for your meat. But you gotta remember that your dogs need the organ meat in their food. So, and you're not gonna find that in your ground meats at the grocery store. So you gotta either buy that. Primal has some nice, Primal and Bravo, Bravo is the company that makes this salmon here, has some nice, um, meat, bone, and organ, and then also some chubs that are just organ meat. So this is going to be like a chicken and fish concoction. It smells kind of fishy. kind of smells like tuna fish. And what's nice about, if you, only have a, if you have a little dog, what's nice about these chubs is they have the little etch marks on it, so obviously halfway would be half a pound and so on. So if you, it's easy for you to measure it, but we're using it all, so I'm not doing that. 
We have two golden retrievers and two cats, so this food won't last us very long. Okay, now that we have everything in this bowl, we can start to add our ingredients. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to add is an egg. <clears throat> you can actually put the whole egg in here. The, um, the dogs can eat that. The, uh, they actually get calcium from the shell. So I'm going to kind of want to like crack it up a little bit. Okay. And then the blueberries. This is like a fourth of a cup. Um, blueberries. I'm not going to use all of this, I don't think. We'll see. Here's the apple. Blueberries, by the way, are good. They're uh, antioxidants, so they're really good for all these things are. And the broccoli and carrots are a good source of um, vitamin C and E. Okay, now if you're going to do the sweet potatoes, what we would do is we would um, grate it and then process it similar to what we did with the carrots, but I actually have canned sweet potato. You can also get organic sweet potato. Okay. I should use a spoon. Okay. Now another thing I'm going to add is some fish oil. Fish oil is really good for their skin and coat. So this is going to feed, what is it, four pounds plus the veggies. It's probably going to feed four meals for my dogs. So I'm going to just do, and then the sensors fish in here, I'm only going to do three tablespoons. For a 50 to 70 pound dog, I believe it's one tablespoon. So I'm just going to do, let's see, I'll do two or three tablespoons, we'll do three tablespoons. Okay. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of Invigor in here from uh, The Honest Kitchen. It's uh, herbs and it's got like kelp and different things and it's a good um, antioxidant. I'm just going to use a little bit of this. do like three. Whoops, we got a little extra. Oh well, it won't kill them. Okay, the last thing we're going to add is a little bit of this uh, pumpkin. It's called Firm Up. Um, pumpkin can be used to kind of, if your dog has diarrhea, pumpkin and sweet potato are good for helping that. I'm not putting a whole lot because we got a lot of other stuff in here. Alright, so now I just mix it up. It's really runny. I think the chicken gets kind of bloody. So, and then what you do after you get it all mixed up is you're going to want to, you can feed it right away if you have like a pack of dogs, but if you don't, you're going to want to portion it out and put it into, I usually, you can use little like containers. These are nice because they actually say how much is on here, or a Ziploc baggie. So, I won't show you guys how to do that, obviously. Do that on your own. But that's it. And we're going to give it a little taste test. I'm going to bring my guys in here to try it out. Be back in one second. All right. That's it. Okay. So they say. No complaints so far. Alright, we'll be back in a few minutes to show you an easier way to do that.